Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from numerical integration. We will solve a second numerical based on Simpson's one third rule. Question is integrate numerically from integration 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta d theta using Simpson's one third rule take h equal to pi by 12. So what is your y equal to function f of x will be equal to square root of cos theta. Now h has been given to you step size which is pi by 12. If you see a lower limit x0 is represented as 0 and upper limit is represented as xn will be equal to pi by 2. So therefore we will calculate number of intervals n will be equal to xn minus x0 divided by h. That is, if you see, what is your xn? xn is nothing but your pi by 2 minus 0 divided by pi by 12. Means, you will write it as pi by 2 into 12 upon pi, pi. So, you will get here n will be equal to 6. That is, we will have entries from 0 to 6. Now, let me write it here. x or instead of x, I can say here it is as a theta and y will be equal to square root of cos theta. So, we will prepare a table first. So, let me draw a table. Now, first value, it will start from 0 because lower limit is 0. Then, if you go for a next value, then next value it will be what? So, this is your x0. x1 will be equal to x0 plus h. That is 0 plus pi by 12. So, you will get that value as a pi by Third value x2 will be equal to x1 plus h that is pi by 12 plus pi by 12 is nothing but 2 pi by 12 or anyway you can write it as a pi by 6 also. Next value will be x3 will be 3 pi by 12. Okay. Then x4 will be 4 pi by 12 or you can write it as a pi by 3 also. After that x5 will be 4 pi by 12 plus pi by 12. So, you will get it as 5 pi by 12. And here, you will get this x6 as 6 pi by 12 which is equal to pi by 2. So, let me open now my calculator. Keep your calculator in a radian mode. So, what it will be? Square root of cos of A. So, let me first press CALC put a equal to 0, you will get answer as a 1. Now, put a equal to pi divided by 12, so you will get answer as 0 0.98282 or 2815. Again, press CALC, put 2 pi divided by 12, so you will get answer as 0 0.93060. Likewise, if you do for 6 pi by 12, that is for pi by 2, then you will get answer as a 0. So, do this in a calculator. So, I will write here answers. Here you will get it as a 1. We have seen it already. This will be 0.98282. Now, when you substitute, theta will be equal to 2 pi by 12. You will get answer as 0 0.93060. When you put it as 3 pi by 12, you will get answer as 0 0.84090. When you put it as 4 pi by 12, you will get answer as 0 0.70711. Now, when you put theta equal to 5 pi by 12, you will get answer as 0 0.50874. And when you put 6 pi by 12, which is equal to pi by 2, you will get answer as a 0. So, if you see, this will be your value of y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. If you carefully observe, we got number of intervals as a 6. So, here we got values up to 6. Now, let me write it here, formula of Simpson's one third root. So, what is your formula? Integration x0 to xn 
f of x dx will be equal to h upon 3 into bracket sum of first plus last ordinate that is y0 plus y6 plus 4 into sum of even ordinates of a y uh, sorry or ordinates of a y that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus 2 into sum of even ordinates remaining even ordinates of a y which will be y2 plus y4. So you just substitute all the values you know h is pi by 12 then you know values from y0 to y6. So if you substitute and if you solve it carefully then we will get answer of integration 0 to pi by 2 square root of cos theta d theta will be equal to 1.187283. So this will be your final answer for this given function. So this is the second problem that we discussed about Simpson's one third rule. Thank you for watching this video.